Network. I have Didi Lachey, and we are together. We make the world go round. This is the spring pop-up shop. We are here today, the beautiful Team 100 Studios. Thank you so much for having us. Miss Didi, thank you for having us. Um, we made it. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. We be, you've been here since Friday, yes. the spring pop-up shop. How has it been going? It's been going. There's been good vibes, uh, great energy, great support. You know, people coming, through, even the vendors supporting each other, just that's going true. around to each table, purchasing items, and that's, that's so dope. Yeah. Very dope. I love it. Definitely love so it. So what, okay, this is a new space. Yes. So what is this space? This is a recording studio. This is Team 100 Studios. Uh, it's a recording studio for artists all over. Uh, beyond that, uh, we have videography, photography, we do graphics. We have uh, producers who make beats. You know, they'll make the beat while the artist is in a session. Uh, we have a nonprofit organization where we uh, conduct events throughout the year. Every year we do a hat and scarf giveaway. This year, June 25th, we have a bowling charity event coming up. So hope where is that going to be? That is going to be at Wycliffe Lanes. Okay. June 25th from uh, 2.30 to 6.30. And how can they register or they just show up? Just show up. It's a charity event. That's awesome. Okay, so what is Team 100 and where can they find them? Um, Team 100 can be found at uh, on Instagram at Team 100 Studio underscore East and the same Team 100 Studio underscore West. Oh, yes. The West version. West location, 4316 Pearl Road, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Okay. So, um, with Team 100, because you say you've been with them for about three years, um, so how has your experience been with them? Um, before I got with Team 100, I didn't know much about networking. Mm. I didn't know much about building my brand and, and dealing with media, so I wanna say Steve, the owner of Team 100, has been so much like a mentor to me, mm -hmm. taught me a lot, and I grew up and just became a boss. There you go. Yes. Spring pop-up shop, shout out Team 100 Studios, shout out to D. Lachey, and we have be crafty in the building. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. How you doing? Good. Can you introduce yourself to the people? My name is Brittany. This is Be Crafty. And what is Be Crafty? Um, I pretty much personalize anything and everything. I make T-shirts. I have some roach clips here. I do sashes for graduations and birthdays. Um, I make some games. Naughty Bingo. Um, naughty. Um, Tic-tac-toe, all that good stuff. Dirty Uno, drunk Uno, drunk so, space. So nothing clean. Nothing clean. Nothing clean. You like it dirty, you know, sometimes. Well then. <laughs> well, when did this start? Um, COVID. COVID. This started a lot of things. COVID started a lot of things. And um, with that time you had, um, how did you find yourself helping others? Um, so to stay away from them. This is true. So while I was home alone, minding my business, mm -hmm. 2020, I started making rolling trays okay. out of boredom, like pure boredom. And then it went from rolling trays to T-shirts, masks, things like that. Well, that's amazing. Did you stop making masks? No, I still make them. Okay. And, um, oh, there it goes. I a disposable mask here. I made a few for like about 100 of them for a baby shower. Okay. So what have you learned from this experience? Um... To be creative, do what your mind is telling you to do. Don't hold back. I never would have thought I'd be making T-shirts. That's, that's if you have the thought in your mind to do it, just do it. That is very true. Well, thank you so much. Where can they find you at? Uh, be crafty. Be dot crafty nineteen on Instagram. Okay. And how does it feel to be a part of a pop up shop and just be a part of the community? Awesome. It feels great. Um, I feel accepted. I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was very nervous, but I feel accepted walking through these doors. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Be crafty. Follow them now. And we are out here. This is King Chief Network. Go on. Check, check, and balance. All right, we're good. This is King Chief Network. We are back. And um, we saw her last night, but y'all don't know that, but we did. And she was modeling. And now she has a whole business. So she has her lashes going on. Um, 
What is this called, Miss Lady? Yay Couture. Yay Couture, and what is your name? Marie. Marie, and how are you today? I am great. How are you? I am good and tired. Yes, same. <laughs> but you're working hard. So, what made you start? What is this? What is this exactly? What is your brand? Yes. So, my brand is a beauty and skincare line. I make body butters, body scrubs, facial cleanser, facial oil, lip gloss, all natural oils, all natural products, no additives, no none. none. Um, and it's for all skin tones, skin types. Um, and I suffer from uh, like dark circles, hyperpigmentation. So I try to give something back to people who also suffer from that so that they won't feel like they don't have a, a company that they can go to for things like that. So yes. Absolutely. And when did you find a passion for um, something as, as important as skincare and um, body and skin health? Around COVID, around COVID time, yes. It started everything. It, it started- It really life. opened eyes. Yes, it did, especially for um, African-American entrepreneurs because you more so see Caucasian and different races doing stuff like this, and you don't see your own kind doing this. So it's a great thing to see that I'm not just in a room just by myself. I'm with other people that look like me and come from the same walk of life as me. So yes. Absolutely. So do you want to do more pop-up shops? And what is the importance of a pop-up shop? I always do pop-up shops. I love them. Um, and I think the most important thing about it is the community because you get to network with so many different people. And then when you hear about a pop-up shop, you can open their you know, business up to opportunity as well and vice versa. It's all about growing together, not growing separately. So. Ooh, that's a bar right there. Um, where can they find you at and where can they find your brand at? So I have an Instagram. It's called Yaka Tour. It's Y-A-I-K-O-U-T-U-R-E. Awesome. Thank you so much. Make sure y'all check this out. I'm going to get me a little skincare routine going, and we're going to get it in. This is King Team Network. We out of here. Come on now. Uh-oh. Pop the top. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on now. I love it. There we go. So Hustle Hard, the Hustle Hard brand, we are here. This is the King Teeth Network. We are back with another amazing interview at this pop-up shop, this amazing pop-up shop. Hustle Hard, you hear the background music. It's going crazy. But we got the CEO, the co-founder, the owner. He does everything, produces, acts. It's good. Jack of all trades, not all, but most, he says. I think it's all, but we just gonna go there. Go ahead, introduce yourself real quick. I'm Nick Lee. Um, I'm from here originally. Okay. Um, the West Side? No, just from Cleveland. Okay, I was about, we, look, we be classifying out here. I, I lived over here. You know, Real I, shit. I stayed on West 25th, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, went, I went to Beard, you know what okay. I'm saying? I'm, I'm familiar with the area. Familiar you know with saying? the area? But yeah, I like it. I came up more on 131st, Real but shit. so uh, graduated from Kennedy. Okay. Um, Shout out to Kennedy. We got some Kennedy folks out there. Shout out to the Fighting Eagles. You already know. Yeah, yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. to R.I.P. to Shabazz. We Absolutely. just lost one of our uh, security guards. You know what I'm saying? Was a real good dude. You know what I'm saying? So he always be remembered. Absolutely. Always push people to you know what I'm saying do better in life. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. One of the best for him. Real shit. And shout out to all the security guards out there that's actually making a difference and wanting to see the kids succeed because y'all are really important. My coach was one of the security guards. Somebody that actually is helping us now on the King Team Network was one of my security guards in high school. So those relationships are real. So I definitely understand that pain your school is feeling right now. So shout out to y'all, and I pray for his family, for real. But how did you get to this, Hustle Hard? How did you get this brand? Well, I started this about three years ago. Um, I hurt myself, you know, on on the on the court. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Slipped on some. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. I sl slipped on the stick. You know what I'm okay. saying? But uh, it uh, actually, you know, gave me a lot of time to just sit on my phone and create stuff. You know what I mean? I knew I always wanted to do something with clothing. Mm -hmm. You know, I always knew I was a hustler. You know what I'm saying? For for years. You know what I mean? For so uh, for years. You know what I'm saying? For for a long time. You know. Yeah. Uh, whether that's, you know what I'm saying, going to punch a regular 9 to 5 o'clock or, you know what I'm saying, whatever, just to get some side money, you know right. what I mean? But um, so I just sat down and I just came up with all these different color schemes and everything. 
took a class on how to do my shirts and eventually, you know, came out with my brand. So you took a class? Also, I'm a model too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, L44, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget about L44. Shout out to Paul Miller, you know what I'm saying, from Akron, Ohio. You know, he put me on with the modeling game for you. you know? Yeah. You know? Are you liking it? Loving it, man. You know, I'm just hoping to expand from here, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing. Okay, but you said you took a class, right? That's so important to hear because people think, oh, I got to do it myself or I got to go to YouTube University and just figure out everything. But sometimes you can use and benefit from sitting down with somebody who's done it, who's seen it, and it's okay to invest in yourself. So what made you make that decision? Just always being motivated, you know. Um, you you got to start something. You know? I didn't know what my point A was, you know, for as, as many years as I just posed in pictures for, you know, for my mom. Her, you know what I'm saying? Just give me an outfit or something, you know what I mean? I always knew I wanted to do it, so why not also you know, create a clothing brand? Also, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. the skill right you can make money right you know, I'm go out of you know what I'm saying? Okay, man. that's awesome where can they find you at in your brand? You find me on ig slick nick from 216 that's slick nick and then you gotta spell the t-h-a you know what i'm saying add a little bit more style you know what i'm saying Pac taught me something you know what i'm saying right we'll do that again a little slide too yeah you know what i'm saying they don't know nothing about that you know what i mean so you know look out for me or team 100 over here on the west side 43 are you a part of this team? Yes, I am. Awesome. How does that feel to be a part of Team 100? I feel like I get to use all of those trades. I'm a jack of here. You know what I'm saying? Graphic design, logo design, videography, photography. I might even have some, you know what I'm saying, some clients come up in here. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, oh. Man, I might be up here getting a little. <laughs> Yay. That's awesome, man. Well, we appreciate you here at the King Team Network. We appreciate we appreciate anybody hustling hard because that's what we do out here. And uh, congrats, yeah, hold that up. Congrats. Ready. Cameraman think he gonna catch me slipping. What? We always ready. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are we are here. We are back. Spring pop-up shop. We have Paparazzi Girl Incorporated. How are you? I am great. I am great. Paparazzi girl herself. Herself. And um where this what is this brand and where did where did it start? Um it's part of my G Obsession Beauty Outlet brand. That's where business and beauty come together. I have branched off and made Paparazzi Girl Incorporation its own thing when it comes to just being unapologetically you. So, so what all do you sell? I sell press-ons and I sell lip gloss. Um, I am a nail tech, so this is for my girls who got to pop them on and pop them off. Mm -hmm. I got them for them. Get it on. Hey, so what made you start this brand and then what made you uh get into being a nail tech um i've been wanting to be a nail tech since i was like 17. i finally got into it when i was able to buy the product i'm like amazon is the best <laughs> so i got into it um i love it i love it i love it so um do you have anything here for me um what you want <laughs> Factual, factual, factual. Okay, um, and where can they find you at? Um, you can find me at paparazzi girl underscore on Instagram, and my YouTube channel also is lavish lucky TV. And what's on that YouTube channel? <laughs> I do a little bit of sun sun. I be doing some music. I record my, um my behind the scenes of me making my press songs, making a lip gloss. Actually, I give out fashion tips because I'm a stylist. I keep it going. I show everything, the behind the scenes, of how, what it takes to be an entrepreneur, how to keep it going, how to hustle hard. And where did you learn that from? I was born with this. Oh, oh. Was, oh wait a second. You was born this way. Uh, shout out to my mama. Shout out to God. 
There you go. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much. We don't want to hold you up, but this has been an amazing. This is Paparazzi Girl Incorporated. This is the King TV Network, and we're out of here. Mm-hmm.